Hi, it's Tim, and today I'm gonna to be reviewing or doing a comparison between the UM2 and the UM1. I have wonderful Kayla here. She is, in fact, riding around on the UM1 today. And Phil, lovely Phil, behind the camera, thank you to both of you for coming today. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna swap out and we're gonna do a little bit of riding around the park today. But I wanted to share with you guys just a couple of things about the differences. Um, number one, Kayla noticed right away, there's a huge size difference. Huge. An enormous size difference, yeah. So. The UM1 is quite light. It's a really easy commuter. Um, the UM2 is significantly heavier. And I think what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna do a quick folding test. We're gonna swap sides. I'm gonna fold down the UM2. Kayla's gonna fold down the UM1. We're gonna both lift them and we're gonna show you the difference in the weight. You ready? Yep. Let's do it. All right, so what we're gonna do right now is Kayla's gonna pick hers up. She's gonna walk off camera right. I'm gonna pick mine up. I'm gonna walk off camera left. So what do you think? Basically the same weight, right? This is way heavier. <laughs> it's way heavier. I can put the exact measurements on there. And we're actually gonna boogie off now, do some more uh, riding and testing and swapping out. I'm gonna share with you just some more of the tests, what we like and what we don't like about the UM1 and the UM2. Coming up next. Wow, so really big difference between the UM1 and the UM2. Not only is the UM2 really heavy, what did you think? Like totally different style, ride, quality. What did you think? It's a little bit less bumpy. I noticed that the engine is a little bit louder, which I wasn't really used to after riding the, the UM1. You found, the, oh, okay, so yeah, it's quieter. It's quieter. What do you think about the ride quality? It was still easy. I don't think it was all that different, but it was a little bit less bumpy. Yeah, I, I really like doing this because Kayla, as you may have noticed, is a little bit different than me. There's, there's some similarities and there's some differences here. And that's really important, right? Like, so when you pick that up, this was like really heavy. Yeah. And that's not something you want to run up the stairs with. Well, I live in a on the third floor of a condo building. I would not be okay with carrying this. Right. So this was much, much better for that. Yeah. Acceleration, power, this is probably a little bit more powerful. This has a little bit more gumption. Sounds good. The lighting, I, I think the lights you're gonna see at the front, there's light at the front up here and on the UM2, the light is down here. Braking wise, we both have regen braking, which is nice. And a manual brake. And a nice little bell. Biggest difference, yeah, the biggest difference for parking it is the kickstand. The yeah. kickstand, of course, has the sort of more moped style kickstand with this, very stable, and it's not gonna move over. This is a very traditional kick scooter stand, just that little one on the side. You know what, they're both great. Um, I find this one just too, it doesn't have enough power for me. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm a little bigger than you. So, <laughs> so that's probably why, and that's why the UM2 is a better fit for me. Um, I find the height of the handlebars are very similar uh, when you actually take into consideration the actual height of the deck. So very similar height. I think they're both great. Any drawbacks, anything you don't like about either one of them? I mean, I don't know where the charging port on this one is, Okay. but the charging port on this one kind of freaks me out because it's on the bottom and I'm a little bit scared to get wet. Water. Yeah, water in there. So the charging port on this one's down here and it's a little doorway. So they thought of that one. That's a, that's a good point. I like that, Kayla. I think that's basically it. Like, they're both cute little scooters. They're really good for urban commuting. I, I think if you're a smaller person like Kayla is, then a UM1 is probably all you need. Yeah. And if you're a little bit bigger, then the extra power of the UM2 is probably excellent too. So, yeah. Thanks so much for helping. Thank you. Thanks to Phil for behind the camera. 